Marching band. One of the most testing, challenging, taxing, and demanding and fun things that the system could ever participate in. It is also one of the most dangerous. Marching band has been proven to cause injuries ranging from minor irritations such as blisters to extremities such as concussions. Join us now as we delve into the chaotic world that is marching band, a sport ridden with disease and injury. <laughs> Webster's Dictionary, Marching Band is an ensemble of musicians that march in time to the music for entertainment at events and in parades, often with brass, wind, and percussion instruments, drum majors, and or majorettes, and color guard. It fails to mention all the effort that is put into producing a 10-minute field show. Marching Band generally initiates in late summer. Bands across the state can be found in parking lots, rehearsing for the ISSMA State Marching Band Finals in November. Here in July, bands are standing at attention in the hot sun preparing what they hope is the winning show. The sun, the leading cause of marching band ailments. Nearly every disease can be traced back to the sun. The most common of these is sunburn. Sunburn is defined as an inflammation of the skin that is caused by overexposure to ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Although easily prevented with sunscreen, it affects nearly every band member. As treatment, doctors recommend applying soothing cream, lotion, or another preparation such as aloe vera. In extreme cases, the sun can cause heat stroke. Heat stroke is the inability of the body to dissipate heat. Symptoms include nausea, fatigue, weakness, headache, muscle cramps, and pain and dizziness. To treat this ailment, move the victim to a shady area, apply water to skin, and fan induced sweating. Dehydration generally enhances the effects of heat stroke. To avoid dehydration, experts recommend drinking at least half a gallon of water on days that you are physically active. Dehydration is a significant loss of bodily fluids, in this case through sweat. Our health expert had this to say. Of course, the sun isn't always shining, and like the United States Postal Service, neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night can stop the marching band. Band practice continues regardless of the weather. Band members must stand at attention while the relentless rain pelts down on them. And as your grandmother could tell you, standing out in the rain will cause you to become infected with the cold. Cold symptoms include runny nose, sneezing, sore throat, and cough. With the exception of a few extreme cases, treatment can be usually found in common medications available at pharmacies and grocery stores. Of course, even with the optimal weather conditions, physical injury is always a risk. Injuries can range from blisters to concussions, all because of one little mistake or being ill-prepared for the task at hand. Blisters are perhaps the mildest injury plaguing band members. Blisters are small fluid-filled sacs found on the skin caused by heat or friction, which can be caused by many things, including ill-fitting footwear. Our footwear expert explains more. A good shoe should not be tight-fitting nor too loose. Both cases contribute to blisters. A good shoe should have about a half an inch from the end of the big toe to the end of the shoe. Experts recommend simply puncturing blisters with a sterile needle as treatment. A fairly common injury in marching band is a sprained ankle. It can be a result of falling or tripping. A sprain is defined as the stretching or tearing of ligaments. Experts recommend rest, icing, compression, and elevation as treatment for mild sprains. If it is a severe case, a doctor may issue anti-inflammatory medication. An illness that plagues nearly every band member is sleep deprivation. Band members find themselves up late nearly every weekend trapped on a bus after an exhausting competition. Signs of sleep deprivation can include fatigue, exhaustion, lack of concentration, body aches, and impairment of judgment leading people to do things they wouldn't normally do. Healthcare experts recommend developing a sleep pattern to cure this disease. This means going to bed and waking up at a regular time each day. Although some medications are available to treat sleep deprivation, most healthcare professionals recommend finding a natural cure before turning to medication. Arguably the most severe injury in the marching band universe is a concussion. A concussion results from the brain bouncing of the rigid bone of the skull, usually due to a significant impact. 
In band, a concussion can be caused by several things. The blow to the head could be a result of two band members being out of place and the instrument of one striking another. It could come from falling and contacting the pavement. The possibilities are endless. Contrary to popular belief, a concussion does not always result in the loss of consciousness. A grade 1 concussion is where a person does not lose consciousness, but it may seem dazed. In a grade 2 concussion, a person will not lose consciousness, but will have no recollection of the event. A grade 3 concussion is the classic concussion. The person affected will lose consciousness and have no memory of the event. Symptoms include severe headache, dizziness, vomiting, weakness, restlessness, and irritability. Treatment ranges from rest and observation for mild concussions, while more severe concussions require immediate medical attention, including neurological and physical exams. If conditions continue, it could silence the performer indefinitely. As you have noticed, the world of marching band is a dangerous one, but all these injuries can be avoided with proper preparation and training. With proper preparation, marching band can be an enjoyable, fun, and safe experience. And the results can be spectacular.